Okay, so this here is uh, my laptop computer, and uh, I've had this thing since about 2008, when I got it used for free, sent by post by a friend in Switzerland, and uh, this thing's pretty much followed me through four years of school, and uh, well, I've carried it around pretty much every day to several different jobs and travel and uh, relatives whatever this thing's been around and it's been incredibly reliable however on my last trip to visit my grandmother the uh, wireless LAN card uh, slot the little mini PCI Express slot decided to give up the, ju the juice and the computer just wouldn't boot if there was a wireless card installed. It still works fine with uh, without the wireless LAN card and it's still got internet access since I've got this hand little stick in 3G modem thingy. But uh, yeah I would still like to have a wireless LAN card in my laptop computer and also one of the RAM slots in it is broken so I'm limited to 2 gigabytes of RAM and uh, yeah could do with 4 so what I've got is a spare parts machine that I trash picked a while ago and used to have sitting over there and uh, these machines are pretty much identical this one is a slightly newer revision and it's got the horrible glossy screen although it's still WUXGA XGA this one has got my nice matte panel that I bought off eBay and uh, yeah I've changed some parts between these units already the uh, trackpad buttons I took uh, the two bad ones these were down pretty bad and stuck them on there and put the good ones here these are actually two right click buttons and uh, I also took the uh, right arrow key from this keyboard and put it on this one since uh, well the keyboard on this one is uh, in better shape it's this one's run a lot less it's in much better condition uh, but uh, the keyboard is kind of not really as good as this one for some reason maybe because this one's well a lot more you know worn, worn in just look at that, you <laughs> Yeah, this machine is worn down. Anyways, the keyboard is <laughs> still better in it, so I'm just going to keep on using that keyboard. But I, since the right arrow key had fallen off, uh, I used to just sit and poke at it. I just took the key and stuck it on the good laptop. Anyways, since the motherboard of this thing is pretty much done for I'd say I've already been resoldering the reflowing the north bridge once after the uh, uh, ramp slot stopped working a couple of years back but uh, it didn't do any good and I've done a fair amount of repair work on it to no avail it's never actually stopped working critically so it's a pretty reliable motherboard but uh, I'm just going to buy the bullet and uh, move, well, pretty much everything in this computer. I'm going to take the panel, the SSD hard drive, the LAN card, the keyboard, the mouse pad, mouse buttons, possibly the RAM, I don't know what I've got in this one, and uh, maybe the plastic lid here, in part to get my lovely rainbow dash sticker and in part because they seem to be made out of different plastics and if I scratch this one that's what sound it makes, it's a much rougher surface but if I scratch this one it's a lot smoother and it's more akin to the very nice coating they've got on the armrests and if you look at the armrests they are in prime condition even though the 
you know, touchpad is a practically a mirror as well as the keyboard. So this is <laughs> a really good design decision of these laptops. I think it's like some kind of clear plastic coating on top. So yeah, I might keep that and pretty much just move everything else over to this chassis. I'll use the base chassis part of the top cover and uh, all this stuff except the keyboard and mouse buttons and the base as well from this laptop because this thing once was down the flight of stairs and uh, it suffered some damage that I fixed by uh, strapping this little piece of wire here to keep it together because uh, there's no screw in there the uh, the thread f just failed from fall so uh, yeah this chassis it's actually got some damage here but it's just never plastic so it should be okay this case is in much better condition overall I mean you can see the difference in texture on them this one's all worn down, this one isn't. And I don't, yeah, the fan is also probably a lot better in this one. However, I'm going to take my T7400 CPU and put it into this one, which just has a T5600. And it's, well, 2.16 gigahertz in this one and 1.86 in this one. Although, <laughs> the this CPU actually used to be in this laptop, but I upgraded it. So, yeah, I'm also going to take this battery, which has been reselled twice, because I'm not buying a new OEM battery, that's for sure, and the China ones for these laptops seem to be pretty crap. I might uh, try and do a bit of a cleaner resell job on this one, though. It's done for. This GU, it's like I probably resold this thing <laughs> back in uh, vocational school, like in 2009 or something. So it's I was pretty young when I did the resell job, and that's why it's not so pretty. Did a better job the second time, but uh, yeah, when when the case is cracked like that, it's not gonna you know heal miraculously. So, anyways, gonna start taking these things apart and see if I maybe can piece together a better laptop. Right, here I've got my old laptop sitting on top of the new laptop, and I just noticed that uh, you can actually see how the power LED on my old laptop is much dimmer than the one of the new one. Oh, hang on, I don't know if I catch it on camera. Yeah, well, <laughs> this is the new laptop, and yeah, it's clearly a lot darker than the new one. There we go, I've got the first one taken apart. Well, got the keyboard removed anyhow. It's the new one. And uh, these computers are very easy to access actually. You just unscrew the keyboard, it's a couple of screws, and uh, four screws to remove this switchboard cover. And then you've pretty much got access to everything. If you want to remove a fan, you've got to take this board out, which is four screws, and that's that. But you can pretty much do everything from the upside without taking the motherboard out. Uh, these computers, I really love the cooling solution on them. They've got uh, dual heat pipes, one for the MXM graphics card, it's a Radeon X1600 Mobility. They also came with NVIDIA GPUs, but thankfully neither of these machines have that. And they've got a separate heatsink for the CPU and the GPU and Northbridge. So, the cooling solution for the CPU, it's blowing out here, but for the GPU and Northbridge, the air blow out hole, whatever, is back there. So, you really don't get any 
heat problems, and these things mostly don't even turn the fan on while they're running unless you're doing something heavy. And yeah, I'm gonna take and I don't know how big this memory is, but I'm probably gonna put uh, four gigs of RAM in it. Replace the CPU, maybe change the thermal paste on this graphics part, but I think I already did that because I've serviced this machine before and it's had a bit of moisture damage by the DC plug, which is here, so I had to uh, take the motherboard out and actually <laughs> uh, just remove a little filter coil that was uh, too heavily water damaged to repair, but. Uh, it's just a minor thing that uh, I don't think is going. It hasn't caused any trouble yet, and I've used this machine quite a lot. So yeah, that's how one of these things looks inside. And actually, a very bad design decision decision they made was to just tape the keyboard onto this CD-ROM bracket here, because they couldn't fit any screws there. So they have a tendency to get the keyboard all flabby up here in the corner. So you kind of have to bend the keyboard to make it press down or it's going to be horrible to type of a numpad. But that's a really minor problem and both my keyboards are already fixed. So yeah, time to get on. Alright, it's 4.15 in the morning on a Sunday. Tomorrow is not going to be fun at work. But it's time for a first test boot of this thing. Everything that should be moved over has been moved over. Keyboard, touchpad, buttons, hard drive, display panel. I actually went with uh, the newer uh, LED because it seems to be a little bit uh, harder than my old one. Probably because this one's been flexed so much over time that it's softened up. But the charge is plugged in, the battery is in, so it's time for the first boot. Let's see what happens. I've got the picture. And it finds three and a half gigs of memory. Well that's not <laughs> that's not promising. It should have four. I don't think I own any one and a half gig RAM sticks. Oh well, I'll put it on mem test over the night. I'm going to have to use this thing at work tomorrow, else it's going to be very boring. So, I'll just have to deal with it. Hope it works. Seems to boot in a way. It's a bit weird that uh, the SSD in this thing barely does anything because it only has a SATA 150 interface for the hard drive. So I always have like fairly high end uh, hard drives in, in this computer. So as well, that's from the Rack and that's not fast, but I've always had 7200 RPM drives, Western Digital, Scorpio Blacks, and stuff like that. So it always had fairly fast hard drives. So I was very disappointed when I put my old uh, Samsung 830 series SSD in it because it just didn't go any faster. Some stuff in the OS went faster, but uh, the boot times were pretty much unchanged. And oh, wow. The fan is so much less worn out in this chassis. You can barely hear it by comparison. I never tested the touchpad. Yeah, it seems to work. Nice. Time for some mem test and bed. Cheerio. Well, that plan went to shit since. Uh, it's uh, Wednesday now, and uh, this thing apparently has a solder joint failure on the hard drive connector, so it's very annoyingly unstable, and I'm going to have to take it apart if I'm going to use it. And that's quite a project, so instead I'm just going to 
flip the display module back to the old chassis and just use my old laptop maybe without a wireless card. I've been trying some stuff and apparently the original card seems to work somehow. It doesn't seem to have the power draw issue that the wireless end card I installed it in in it uh, earlier had. So I'm gonna do some stuff. I'm gonna try and take the main board out of this thing. Well the top cover at least because it's kind of broken here and I would like to glue that together properly. So at least this I'll get something out of this whole thing because using a broken laptop on the brakes it works is not a whole lot of fun. Sheesh. Something just blew my mind. Check this out. I have never seen this on a laptop before. Not even the uh, other <coughs> like 15 inch models in the same series do this. But you can just pop out the touchpad like that. It's just amazing. Wow. There we go, the top cover has been removed and inside you can see eight years worth of dust and crust and wear and tear. I've never had the top cover removed on this thing before. Never. Here's the big chunk of magnesium that provides heat shielding for the battery and a lot of St mechanical stability. The motherboard was actually larger than I thought. I'm kind of surprised it's held up as well as it has given this size of board. When they flex, they tend to break. Yeah, not too much else to see here, really. I notice that it's cracked a bit here from its probably from its stair trauma back in the day. Anyway, so what I'm going to be fixing is here. It's probably not going to show up on camera, but it's cracked down there. And I want to fix it properly so it doesn't crack again. Because it gives a very annoying problem when this thing doesn't, like, moves up a little. 11 in the evening, Wednesday. I finally have my old laptop kind of put together again. If the display module is the new one, the motherboard is the old one, but I stuck an old uh, Intel 39. Oh, I don't know the number. 3945 or something like that wireless card in it, and it seems to work. It's the same card that the computer shipped with, so. Maybe it's just some compatibility thing that made it mess up in the first place. Old keyboard, old everything, pretty much except for the screen module. So I really hope I can have a stable computer at work tomorrow. And I've got to deal with that thing at some stage, try and troubleshoot it and see if I can get it working stably. Because, well, I would like having two of these laptops because I really like these laptops. But this video is probably long enough by now, so cheerio.